हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ना वेलकम इन माय इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर क्लास स्पेशल फॉर स्टैंडर्ड टेन यू नो इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू नो अबाउट डस्ट ऑफ स्नो बाय रोबर फ्रोस्ट अबाउट द पोइट नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द पोयम डस्ट ऑफ स्नो यू नो द वे ऑफ क्रो Soak down on me the dust of snow from my hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and save some part of a day I had lived. So this is a very short poem. Whenever you observe the whole poem minutely, then you find out one full stop. It indicates it is a single line, single sentence poem. No doubt, it contains eight lines, but this is a single sentence. And now, we know that's a summary of this poem. Here, in this poem, the poet is talking about a winter's day. Winter's day, we know that is very cool, just like in Kashmir, Antarctica, etc. when all the tree tops were covered with snow flakes a snow flakes that means uh, particles of snow particles of snow that is in a kashmir uh, you find out uh, in the winter season especially uh, particles of snow fall down each and every year and every time okay here yeah? the poet was walking under one such snow covered tree This was a hemlock tree. Hemlock tree. That's a poisonous tree. No poison. Very dangerous thing. The hemlock tree is usually associated with poison and toxicity. As a poison named hemlock is also made. Thus, this tree cannot be associated with anything positive. However, a crow came and sat down on this tree suddenly, and because of this. sudden motion the mass of snow flakes from the top fell down on the poet like rain the snow flakes were so light and small that the poet thought they looked like white and equally dust particles you know this shower of snow flakes from the hamlet tree is evidently the subject matter of this poem since it touched the poet in some way you know overall it was a day of winter it was snowing all around a fine dust of snow had covered the top of the tree a hemlock tree was standing there the top of the hemlock tree was all covered with a fine dust of snow the poet was standing under that hemlock tree one of sudden a crow from nowhere came and perched on the top of the tree the sudden movement of crow made the dust of snow fall down the flakes of snow fell on the poet who was standing under that tree so in that first stanza we know and in the second stanza Now, in the second stanza, the poet explains exactly in what way the shower of snow flakes had an effect on him. He says that it changed his mood earlier. Earlier, the spelling of earlier are that's extra, so you cut down. And now next, he had been in a despairing mood, but the shower of snow flakes falling on him all of a sudden, gladdened his heart. in addition to this there was another effect that the shower of snow flakes had on the poet he says that that particular day was one that he had not been looking forward to and in fact it was not going too well either he had decided in his mind that that particular day would go to waste however the shower of dust like snow 
on his shoulder changed his mood it made him feel that the day had not been a complete waste at least some part of that day had been pleasant since it had given him a new experience that he could treasure as well as the material for another one of his wonderful poetic compositions you know that's a very meaningful poem very meaningful poem. and in that's the second stanza we find out uh, that's the arrival of a tree uh, arrival of a crow one of sudden crow and hemlock tree both are indicate uh, ill omen uh, that's circumstances is uh, all circumstances against the poet at this times we also find out uh, um, that situation of coronavirus all over the world but among all circumstances uh, the poet think positive no doubt that's a some part of the life already waste but whenever you think positive then you save the remaining parts of the life so this poem uh, try to uh, give a lesson uh, to think positive whenever we think positive then uh, that solution uh, comes out easily and sorrow vanished suddenly okay dear students uh, i hope that you note down each and every line and at last we know that's a theme and the message uh, of this poem no the poem teaches us that that we should not be displayed because there is always an opportunity to change sad mood into happy mood today all of us are living in a stressful atmosphere at this time we know in a um, situation of coronavirus uh, that's uh, at this time yeah we are living in a stressful atmosphere but in this atmosphere uh, stress uh, full atmosphere we think positive just like here uh, teaches us to gain happiness from little things and then after you also each and every students to note down this is the theme also one by one the poet in the poem dust of snow was in sorrowful mood he felt that the whole day was going to be gloomy but when a crow shook down a snow flakes on him his bitter mood changed into an optimistic one you know optimistic optimistic persons always think positive and pessimist persons always think negative so if you want to be happy then you think first of all positive no doubt he could have become unhappy when such a thing occurred but instead of seeing the negative aspects of the incident he took a positive vibe from it at last the poem teaches us to find happiness from a small things and to take everything positively so this is my suggestion all all viewers not only students because literature is a mirror of our society literature is an art of living so we learn uh, the art of living i hope that each and every student understand this poem and uh, at last uh, you solve each and every question answer easily this is a question answer in the poem dust of snow how does the poet's mood get changed that's a very very important questions okay now thanks in that uh, next video uh, we seems uh, uh, that uh, meaning of this poem in hindi version also okay thanks